Well, hi, it's Andrew at uh, andrewstomach.com, as always, fixing tendons. And we're beginning to get the message across that what you eat is super crucial, the timing of it is super crucial, you'll learn that in our sessions. But on the whole, what we're telling people to get as much collagen into their system. So I must admit, I used it, so this is a shameless plug. Um, on the website, there'll be a link with a 10% money off voucher. This is really cool. But this is really nothing but old fashioned gelatin like your parents, your grandparents used to make. Um, so what I want to do is run through how the hell to make um, collagen and gelatin. So it really comes from, from bones of animals. Although there's a veggie way of doing it, but I know nothing about this. Um, so what I've been, I've just been down to the butchers and got a lot of one pound nice size packer bones. Um, and they gave me some bigger ones with more marrow in. Oh, gave me, they sold it to me, which is totally okay. I'm simply I'm going to put these in a slow cooker. Now, I can make it into a bit of a soup that I'll probably do later on. But the important thing is add that, put water in, but also put a bit of lemon juice in because it helps start the process whereby the collagen and other stuff gets released into the liquid. So we're going to end up with like so I've got bone stock, but also visible gelatine. I hope because this is the first time I've done this. I'm not going to eat whatever I produce, but the reality is on a day by day basis, I can be lazy and use the supplement. But it's nice to have it all. So let's see how we go. So, here we go. Um, I've got some water that's mysteriously appeared off camera. Some bones and some more bones. And I think it's as complex as doing this. Into the slow cooker. I think you're going to want to have a slow cooker. The other bones. And there it goes. So, it's like a, a slow cooker full of bones. And then here, I don't know if this is enough water. I'm just simply going to pour that in. Like a lot of water to me. Right, it's a saucepan's full. Depends how big your uh, slow cooker is. Now I'm going to put some orange, some sorry, some lemon juice in. So here, boom, 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 boom. I have no idea how much to put in, so maybe that's too much, but we will find out when it comes to eating it. So that goes in the bin. Can't recycle it, I don't think. And we're going to leave that for half an hour before we put any heat on it because the vitamin C does something magic to the structure. Well, see you in half an hour's time. So when I could think about this, I thought, well, I'm going to be doing my gelatine sort of bone broth stuff here, and I might as accept it may turn out to be sort of more of a soup than anything else. So I thought, well, we might as well make it a nice soup. So I'm going to add in some of this, some of this, and I'm then going to nip out the balcony and get a few herbs and chuck that in. Um, so I'm going to cut this up off camera and I'll get back to you just before we switch this on. So. I've been busy off camera. I went off to the balcony, I'll show you that in a minute, and got some bay leaves, um, some rosemary, and a bit of oregano, and simply I'm just gonna break them up and chuck them in here. Probably a better way of doing this, but um, I wanna be able to take them out, so I'm gonna stuff them in there. And I chopped up some celery, here's some celery going in. And I also think I chopped up some carrots, so the carrots are gonna go in, and also there's a whole lot of onions and stuff in there, so I'm gonna whack all of that in there and I'm gonna get some more water top it up the top put that there I may go and get some black pepper but I'm not so sure about that and then I'm gonna start this whole process off by putting it onto there and then we'll be back in about eight hours time see how that works So let's have a little look. Let's start getting this out of here. Had a good 12 hours overnight. Let's see what we're left with. So, a bit of a pain, but sort of getting something which is more liquidy. Still lots of bits in it, a big pile of rubbish to throw away. And yay, finally my gelatine. Look at this. So tendon enhancing goodness. This is this is the gelatine because that's the fat that came off the top.
This is awesome. How to put it in the fridge to get it into this state. But wow, there you go, eh? What a pain, though. I think I'd rather have the supplement. At least I can make it. I think chicken was easier, but hey, do some.